Hey there, Gamer Obscura here, continuing Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. How many more of these do we have? Oh my gosh, probably about 10. I don't know, Frankie's got an important thing for us. Let's just see how many we can do. If this isn't the last episode, the next one certainly will be. Let's see, you can tell me in person. He's been waiting on the west side of Rogue Port. Oh, this is... This was uh, Francesca's husband, right? Well, actually, he's the new Don, because the other guy... Well, I think his name just was Don, but <laughs> he uh, he was too old and infirm to continue running their syndicate, so Frankie's in charge now. So we gotta go see what's up with him. All right, Frankie. Wait, what? Where is he? Where the hell's Frankie? What? Wait, they're gonna name their baby after me? That's incredible. But Frankie's not here. We gotta find him. Oh, there he is. Frankie, what are you doing over here? What the hell, man? Yeah, I'm taking on your trouble. Let's see. What do we got? Oh, you, oh my god. You lost your wedding ring? I have to find it again? And you can't look for it in front of Francesca. Oh my gosh. All right. Somewhere in town. All right. If she finds out, I'll be yelling, I love you a billion times. Oh my god. That's right. And we'll have to press A a billion times then. Oh my goodness. Where could this thing be, though? Shoot, man. I mean, we'll just retrace his steps. Let's check by the harbor first. But I don't know everywhere where this guy would go. I mean, the key to the house was just in plain sight by the bad shop. So hopefully this thing is as well. I just, I don't know where to look. That's the problem. Wait. Wait. Is it, that's it. What? It's on the... It's on the wall there. Oh, God. I know how to get up there, though, so that's fine. Shoot. As I walk past... Yoshi, go! You can just barely see that. I don't even know why that caught my eye. Oh, my God. Although... Can I... Yeah, I can walk over there. Oh, my God. I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna fall so many times! Please don't! Oh, you can hear it. Pick it up, man. There we go. We got the wedding ring. Holy crap. Like, something just didn't quite look right. And it caught my eye. Oh, that's awesome, though. That took forever. I've been like, wandering all over. I never thought to go to East Rogue Port. I just figured it'd be in West Rogue Port or the harbor area or points in between. What the hell is he doing on that side of town? That's, that's rival territory for him. What the heck, man? I can't be doing that. Here's your stupid ring, man. Good grief. I did find it. There we go. He doesn't even have, like, fingers. They just have... It's like their hands are just mittens. How's that gonna fit? I, you know what? Don't answer that. I don't want to know where he puts that, that ring if it's not on his fingers. Holy crap, man. Kind of miss her now. Yeah, go make another baby and name it after me. All right, we solved the trouble. All right, so who's up next? Get these ingredients. Chef Shimmy forgot where Chef Shimmy was. Oh man, I need a gold leaf, a mystic egg, and a keel mango. That's right, the XS Express. All right, we'll take on Chef Shimmy's trouble. Shoot, man. Crap, I'm gonna have to write this down. <laughs> a gold leaf, that's from, that's from Creepy Steeple, so I guess we'll just go there first. All right, here we are in Creepy Steeple in the corridor. And you might remember the gold leaf. The gold leaf is just from over here. You sneak behind the building. Hopefully we can still get one. Yeah, there we go. Let's say hopefully it's not just like a total one-time thing. I mean, I suppose it probably just like respawns every time you reload the area. But I love this though. Like you just walk around <laughs> with this badge like any enemy. You just walk around and bump into it and it disappears. It's just like stupid freshmen. You know, like the the big tough jock quarterback in high school. And these stupid booze, man. All right, so we got the leaf. Now we oh, oh shit, was it an egg? We we need to find an egg and a keel mango. A keel mango, I feel like will be easier to find. It's probably just in keel hall key. So I suppose we'll see you there. All right, and we're here in keel hall key. I mean, is there a special tree I have to hit to get a mango? Oh. All right, there we go. Well, that was easy. 
That was easy. Because there's that one tree that has coconuts, but that's obviously a coconut, not a mango. I just wonder how many of these trees will drop that thing. Like, will this one? No, it's just that first tree. Well, that's lucky. Because, like, the gold leaf is actually kind of hidden. But this mystic egg, I have no idea. I have no idea where to get one of those. I'm just going to have to check, like, every shop in the world. If it's even an item you can buy, I just, I don't know. But we'll cut to when I find it. Oh, there she is. All right. So I had to look this one up as well. And apparently how you get a mystic egg is you have to find Petunia here. And you play some game with her or something. And if you win, she gives it to you. I never in a million years, never in a million years would have guessed this was what I had to do. So they stumped Gam and now we have to stump Petunia. Why can't I say that? It's supposed to be like Petunia, but it's just Petuni. I don't know. So we have to create an easy question that she can answer. Okay, Mario... ...likes... ...which person... ...the most? Person Mario likes the most. You can't stump Petuni. He likes Princess Peach the most. Yep. There you go, you're right. See? You know the answers to everything. What do we get? There it is, so we get the egg. Of course, what do I get? I knew that's what I was gonna get, because that's why I came in here. What the hell, Cam? How, how clueless can you be, all right? We're tossing a, a spite pouch, because I have a badge that does the same thing, even if I'm never going to equip it. But there we go, we got all the ingredients we need. Let's just go find Chef Shimi on the train. All right, back on the train again. Hey, I don't remember this girl. Wait, a long time ago, a guy ate a poison mushroom in the food on this train? Oh my gosh, he passed on with a smile on his face. Is that the toad ghost or whatever? Oh my gosh, who even knows? But anyways, here's Chef Shimi. Hello to you, thanks for accepting my request. I got the three ingredients for you. Two of them were pretty easy to find. One of them made me feel like a dummy. And I had to look it up and look stupid. I didn't need to admit that, but... <laughs> like it matters like it matters man. Yeah, the puzzling mystic egg. It sure was a puzzle And there we got the mango. All right Now you have all the ingredients All right, D do I get No, I just get coins at least it was 40 of them to so say do I get a taste of the dinner you make? But no, I don't I just get coins. We solved the trouble. So back to rogue port we go. All right, who's up next? Who's up next? I need my magazine. I gotta poop real bad. I need something to read, man. Please meet me at my vacation home in Poshley Heights. Be a wonderful trouble solver. Oh, I can get another member's card. All right. So we gotta take on Toodles. This is trouble. Oh my gosh. All right, to Poshley Heights. We were just there though, man. Shoot, man, I don't even remember what house belongs to Toodles. Is it, is it? Let's check this one. I know it's someone that we've talked to before, because I made the stupid Toodles reference, you know, from Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, which, like, the only reason I know it's a thing is because of my kids. But hopefully it's this one. I just, I don't know. There's no one. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is Toodles, right? It's the rich lady. What a dumb name she has. <laughs> So, I'm sorry. Sorry to anyone that just happens to be named Toodles. But we have to get a magazine back from Jolene. Alright, so we're off to Glitzville. Alright, knock on the door. Let's go inside. I, all this just for a magazine. Like, what the hell, man? We need a magazine, lady. Yeah, we need Toodles' magazine. It's gotta be, like, out of date by now. No, we need it right now. Yes, that magazine. Oh my god. What? This must be a very special magazine. She's got to take it to the bathroom one last time. Nope, looks like she's going to give it right back. Oh, wait. Oh, she borrowed the magazine as a promoter. What magazine is this, man? It's not like I follow fads or anything. Like, I care what you read. Oh, it's a wrestling magazine. Well, so what, man? Jeez. Nothing wrong with liking what you like. What the hell, man? Anyways, let's go return this to Toodles. Hey, Mush. Alright, Toodles, I'm here with your magazine. And then we're gonna have to go back to Rogueport. Oh, man, like... To do these all at once... Just holy cow, man. I mean... 
there's nothing wrong with that, I guess. Now we can play boat mode game? What the hell? You know, but I kind of I kind of wish now that I that I'd done these throughout the story mode instead of just all at once because holy balls like just using these fast travel pipes and stuff. I mean again, like if not for those, I probably would have tapped out on these a while back. But I just wish I could go on the map and fast travel. That's like my only gripe with this game is after like after you beat the story mode, it'd be really nice if you could just go to the map and fast travel instead of using these pipes. It's like, you, you know, you never... The pipe isn't always right where you want to be. So, like, you, you come out of the pipe, go do your thing, and then you have to get all the way back to the pipe just to go into a different pipe and rinse and repeat. But, I mean, it is what it is. This game's still amazing. Don't I don't want to give the impression that I don't love this game to death. It's just... Not everything's perfect. It's just the way it is. Anyways, we gotta get... Get another trouble done here. We're moving along pretty good here, I think. I mean, some of these quests have been very simple. So maybe we will get the rest of these done. I don't know. I don't want to jinx it. So what do we got? Security code. I forgot the code to my briefcase? What? Just buy a new one, man. I'll be sacked for this for sure. Meet me in... Oh, it's that guy again. Okay, all right. Yeah, we'll take on the businessman's trouble. All righty. See you back in Blitzville. Okay, there he is. He looks so sad. I mean, he can't get in his briefcase, but he's so sad looking. I'm the fellow that accepted your request. We've met before. You forgot the code. Oh my god, the prototype of your company's new product. First it gets stolen, and now he can't even get back into it. He's a real chair fanatic. <laughs> like anything you sit on? What? The number of chairs in the houses I visited on business as the code. That is weird. What the hell? So I gotta go... Alright, hold on a second. I gotta go to four different locations. Coop's house. Alright. Flurry's house. Oh my god. Don Pianta's office. Toodle... I was just at Toodles' house, man! You can't... You can't do this to me, man! I counted the sweet, sweet chair in a I bet you sniffed it as well, you sick fuck. <laughs> a chair is anything you sit on. I can sit on a lot of things, sir. But anyways, I'm just gonna go count these chairs, and we'll be right back. Alright, we're back. We're back, and I think I have the code. We'll see if I counted a sure thing, chair guy. We'll see if I counted it out right. There were two chairs in Coops's house. Alright, the second number. Flurry had... Oh my god, more. Yeah, she had six chairs. Now the third number. How many marvelous chairs were in Don Pianta's office? Two! Like, stop scrolling off the number I want, man. How many incredible and delicious smelling chairs were in Toodles' house? And she had five chairs. Counting the one outside. It opened! Yes! Thank you so much. Maybe I can keep my job! Yeah, try to remember it from now on. I mean, after all, scent is the strongest sense tied to memory. Alright, wait, what is he doing here? Is he giving me a hot dog? As a reward? Sweet. Oh, wait. Huh? Oh, the, the prototype thing. The hottest dog. I was sure it'd be a hit. I know someone... I know someone that might want it, because that could be like spicy instead of just like spicy, which is way more than just spicy. But Bubulber, oh there we go. I should give that to Bubulber. Might lose his mind. All right. Oh, so I can keep getting hot sauce, and we solved the trouble. Back to Rogueport we go. All right, who's up next? Oh, I can finally see check marks. What do you have? Three, seven left. Oh my god! Newsletter. Would you please deliver the Silver Club newsletter routing slip for me? Pick it up at my house in Twilight Town. All right, we gotta go to Mayor Dower's house. See you there. All right, here we go. What you got for me, Mayor Dower? I actually really like Twilight Town. This is a cool area. I like the spooky music, and really just a spooky vibe in general. I think it's great. Oh, so we got to deliver the newsletter to the elder in Bogley Woods. Well, that's easy enough. 
All right, we're here. The way the music in this area starts off, it sounds like some dopey ringtone or something <laughs> from from like 20 years ago. Well, probably from about the, around the time this game came out. The first time from 2004, which, well, just tw that's 20 years ago, is it not, Gam? What the hell, man? Anyways, there we go. We've delivered the newsletter, and I gotta take this to Petalburg? Oh, all right. All right. Regale me with your old man stories, but no, please don't. <laughs> Murphy, what can I do for you? Here's the routing slip. A. It is from the puny elder, that old so-and-so. That super blood pressure gauge I borrowed from her was great. What the hell? All right, so we gotta get this. Oh my god, what the hell? Are you okay? All right, so we gotta go back to Twilight Town. We'll see you there in a bit. Mr. Mayor, I've got the thing. <laughs> I forgot what it was called, the routing slip. Yes. Here we go. There we go. Oh, shit. Wait, what? Oh, I get it. Okay, all right. Is that it then? Before I forget, here's your award. All right, yay. What do we get? 30 coins. Oh, my gosh. I mean, you don't get coins for every single one of these. But holy balls, age? What? Cutting Medicare? What? Maybe you'll join us in 20 years. That's got to be added in dialogue. Who knows? Anyways, back to Rogueport we go. All right, who's next? I just wonder if you get some, like, super awesome reward for when you finally get rid of all these things. Take something to General White. Please come get it with all speed. Meet me in Poshley Heights. All right. Oh, it's Gold Bob's trouble. All right. Back to Poshley Heights. I feel kind of bad, because you really don't spend that much time in Poshley Heights. Like, you get here off the train, just go to the Sanctum, and then that's it. You're done. So, I mean, like, I never really... Never really explored this town much. Like, I've spent more time in Poshley Heights doing these fetch quest things than anything else. So we gotta deliver this to General White. Yeah, he's gotta be back in Far Outpost, which really isn't that far, because I can just take a warpy pipe to get to it. Man, I don't know where I don't know where General White is. He had been in this house before, right? Yeah, okay. Oh, he left this morning. Alright, well I'm glad I talked to this guy then. What? He's gonna see a cola bartender in Rogueport, dude! Alright, back to Rogueport we go. Yeah, I was gonna say, I, I was almost certain he was in that house, and then I wandered off to the west. There was like the bunker, but he wasn't in there either. So whatever, we're here. So we gotta go to Podley's place. Which, I mean, it's, we're so close, there's no point in cutting this out. But he better be there, I swear. If he's going across across the whole world again, I'm gonna be so mad. Because it was a pain, big pain in the ass to find him the first time. And I'm really getting tired of using all these pipes to get around. <laughs> Losing my damn mind here. This is almost worse than the pit of 100 trials. Yeah, and he's not here. Oh, where is he, man? Oh, God. All right. Oh, dude, just get back with Eve and tell me where he is, man. He went to Glitzville. All right, but I'm sure he just left Glitzville as well. So I'll just cut to when we actually find the fucker. Jeez, like, I don't mean to sound so mad, but like, oh my god. See, it's like I had to, he was just here a moment ago. You could have given him the damn package yourself. Yeah, I had the thing. I wanted to give him. Oh my god, so he's going back to Far Outpost. He better be there. He better be there. I'm just saying, I'm gonna lose my mind over this General White fetch quest guy. This is two times now, man. I'm angry, but not really. All right, I swear, you better be in here, General White. I'm gonna lose my mind. He's asleep. Wake up. Wake up, you bastard. Yes, wake him up. It didn't work. Wake him up. <laughs> so now we gotta do this again. Oh my god, I'm, I'm gonna jump on this guy even after he wakes up, just for good measure. Oh my god, can I just leave the box on the floor? Like, why do I have to wake him up to deliver the package? <laughs> Hut, hello, Mario. Yeah, I need you, man. What the heck? A delivery from Gold Bob. I did bring it to you. I'll take it off your hands. There we go. Take my package. Have fun with it, but not too much fun. Well delivered. Wait. I have to fetch my reward. I have to go back to Gold Bob to get the reward. Oh my god. 
All right, Gold Bob, the package has been delivered. Give me my reward so I can go back to Rogue Port. Oh my goodness. Wait, oh, he still thinks I'm Gonzalez as well. What the hell? I got 64 coins. God, I have over 5,000 coins. This is so crazy, man. Anyways, we solved that trouble. I think we're only gonna have time for like one or two more at the most. So we might have another episode in our hands here. I'll have to find something else to do. And I think I know what I can do because Mush sent me an email challenging me to a fight. So maybe we'll do that next time. But anyways, we'll see you back at the Trouble House. All right, what's up next? I want to meet Luigi from Todia. I must meet my darling Luigi. Come to the fountain in Poshley Heights. No, I was just there. Ah! Oh, this must be her because she's the one by the fountain. So I know where Luigi is. He's he's above Podley's place, right? So I gotta bring him here. Why didn't you just say that in the thing? Oh man, she wants to give him a cake. She has to give him a cake. Bring Luigi here. Got it. Well now Pennington thinks that I am Luigi, and I'm sure this isn't gonna work, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Like, look at me. Hey, it's Luigi. <laughs> Yeek! I can tell. I can tell. What? This this worked? No way! <laughs> Get out of here! <laughs> nah, uh No way, she's gonna find out I'm a fraud. Oh my god, Zesty did a great job on this. I can't believe this worked. I cannot believe this worked. <laughs> oh shit! Uh-oh. Oh no! Well, she gets to meet him anyways. You filthy imposter police! <laughs> What? Oh my god. Mario's totally letting him take the fall. What the hell, you lie, EG? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm me. Oh my god, this is hilarious. This game. Oh my goodness. That just... <laughs> that that made up for, for General White's trouble nonsense. Going all over the world for no reason. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe that worked. I just can't believe that worked. But yeah, that's the last one I'm going to do for the day. So we'll finish the troubles next time. And if I have time, we'll go see what Prince Mush wants. Hope to see you there. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.